Hi, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. My name is Tamia. I'm going to be showing you guys problem number two on the midterm practice exam. So the sample data set below gives the prices in dollars of different brands of scientific calculators. Use the data to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So the first thing we're going to do is list the values in our x column and find the n. So here are our values and we're going to list them in the x column. Now that we listed our values, we can find the sum of x. So to find the sum of x, we have to add all of these numbers together. When you add them, you get 85. To find n, you just count the amount of numbers in the row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our n equals 5. So the next thing is finding the mean. Here's the formula to finding the mean x bar equals the sum of x divided by n. So I'll write it here, 85 divided by 5 equals 17. So our average number is 17. Now you want to take your x and subtract it by our average number here. So 15 subtracted by 17 because negative 2, 10, Subtracted by 17 equals negative 7. 23 subtracted by 17 will give us 6. 18 subtracted by 17 will give us 1. And 19 subtracted by 17 will give us 2. So now that we found our results, we're going to take our results and square that. So negative 2 squared negative 7 squared, 6 squared, 1 squared, and 2 squared. You don't have to worry about the negative because once you square it's automatically going to be a positive number. So the answer to that is 4. The answer to this is 49. The answer to this is 36. The answer to this is 1. And the answer to this is 4. So now we're going to add up our results from the sample minus the mean squared. So after we add all of these up, we get 94. We're going to take the 94 and enter it into our sample standard deviation formula. So we would basically have 94 divided by 4 We're doing 94 divided by 4 because the n minus 1, our n here is 5, so we're going to do 5 minus 1, which gives us 4. So 94 divided by 4 gives us 23.5. Now we're going to take the 23.5 and we're going to square root it. When you square root that, you're going to get 4.8476. Because we're working with whole numbers, you want to round it to the, cl to the nearest tenth, which our answer would be 4.8. And that is our final answer.